Hello. <laughs> Are you gonna come over here? Are you gonna come over here? Come to mama. Come to mommy. No. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. So last week we talked a little bit about Wyatt's nighttime routine. This week we're gonna talk about his daytime routine, things that he loves to do. Um, and so let's just jump right into it. Um, so it's been getting kind of cold and the downstairs area is actually colder than upstairs. And I don't know why, so I put him in this little coat thing. But it's so soft. And it, he looks so warm. Okay, baby. You want to sit down? Okay. There you go. <laughs> so, if you guys have followed me for a long time, you guys know that during the earlier parts of my pregnancy, I had troubles with breastfeeding. Actually, I still have trouble with breastfeeding. It's been an ongoing issue. So in the beginning I had trouble with my milk supply coming in. Um, it took over a week until I actually established a supply and then later on I had problems with overproduction and I had blocked ducts and then now I just feel like I'm not producing enough and he's or else he's just eating way too much and I'm not making enough for him to eat and so his naps are shorter, he cries a lot, uh, especially when I'm home to feed him. And so now we have to supplement with the breast milk that I have been saving up in the freezer. But he's going through like 25 bags, or not, 25 ounces, which is five bags a day. And there is no way that I am even pumping that much at a time. So this is my current milk situation, milk storage situation. This whole thing used to be full and now you can see there's only two left. So actually, let me show you the full one. So as you can see, this whole box is full. There's like 50 bags in there and I feel like about two weeks ago, that other box upstairs was full too but he's just going through it like a mad person and then this is the newest one that i've been filling up now and so i'm just really sad because at this point i feel like i will eventually have to supplement with um, formula and i know fed is best i think i'm just sad because when once you have an expectation when you have a certain vision or a plan in your mind and that plan doesn't fall through I think at, anyone would feel a little bit disappointed where are you going sweetie for those of you who don't know um, state insurance covers almost all OB visits and another thing that they cover is a breast pump oh. and you can actually get it Oh yes, and you can actually get it um, a month before your due date. So your doctor just has to write a prescription or you can just call your insurance and see what you have to do. But the breast pump is 100% free for any mom and so I recommend doing that. The only downside is that I feel like they sent me a defective breast pump and I didn't realize it until about a few weeks ago. Oh yes, boo boo boo, and I didn't realize it. Oh. <laughs> and I didn't realize it until a few weeks ago when it broke. So there's a f I have the Medela Harmony, I think. Um, I'll put in clips right now, but I have this Medela breast pump, and then this port where you place in the tubing totally just broke and I feel like it's always had like a little leak in it but a few weeks ago it literally broke and I've been I tried to super glue it before the actual part came in because when I try to order it on Amazon or when I try to order it on um on the Modelo website it was literally like two weeks for the part to come in unless I wanted to pay $30 for shipping 
like the next two day shipping. And I'm just like, dude, my milk supply is going to diminish by then. And so I end up trying to super glue it and um, hand pumping until the part came in. And luckily I still have a supply, but that's ridiculous. They're basically tell, trying to tell me you have to pay for this overnight shipping or what two day shipping or else you just won't breastfeed anymore. And, um, and so my suggestion also with moms, in the beginning you'll produce a lot of milk, so save up as much as you can. I use these lanolin bags and then I just freeze them. Wyatt, yeah, yeah. Wyatt is super needy and um, like picky. He will only drink milk if it's warm. So from me or from warm milk and we don't want to buy like one of those milk warmer things. And so when it sits in the bag, it's a lot easier to warm under warm water compared to when it's in a bottle. So every time I pump, I just freeze it and then Stan uses the frozen milk um, when I'm away at work. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. And to and a lot of you have also been saying um, you can try try mother's milk tea and lactation cookies. And I honestly, guys, have tried a lot of those things. Um, I'm actually taking Maxi Milk, which is this like super, super, super concentrated um, like supplement with everything that is in Maxi Milk, and it's supposed to increase my milk supply. But I just feel like it's not enough. <laughs> It's just not enough. Huh, sweetie? Not enough. <laughs> Why do you eat so much? <laughs> um, I thought it helped a lot in the beginning, and then that's when I started getting clogged ducts, and then I stopped, and then I started again because he started eating a lot more, and it just, I haven't been able to keep up. And I don't know if I'll ever be able to keep up, and so might have to get formula soon, buddy. Mr. Little Chunky Monkey. Um, in the note of food, look, he has two little teeth. It's so cute. He has, um, he's grown two little bottom teeth and actually one on the side up here. It's so cute. So we started him on solids and I always knew that once I started feeding Wyatt solids, I wanted to make my own baby food. And so we bought this thing and it's so easy makes everything so much easier. Everything always turns out the right consistency. Everything always turns out perfect. I never waste any food and he actually loves it. He loves apples, pears. Um, we've tried sweet potatoes. I actually read that um, breastfed babies should also try eating meat because it's good to restore their iron stores. Okay, you're over it. You wanna go down here? You wanna play with mommy's phone? Here. Yes. Daddy had a bad landing. 
Okay, sorry about that everyone. So Wyatt was super over it, so I had to bring him upstairs. I think you can still hear him. <laughs> anyway, so some daytime activities that he loves, some toys that he loves. Well, actually just one toy. We bought him this walker that he goes in and that he loves. He runs around the island with it. He chases us with it. Um, he's always going into the closet and looking at himself in the mirror. And Stan says this is probably our best investment. It was super cheap. It was like $30, $40 on Amazon. I'll link it in the description box down below. And he's just such a curious boy that you constantly have to stimulate. Oh God, you can hear him up there. You just have to constantly stimulate him and talk to him and, and like, you know, and I feel like with the walker, he has so much more independence. And so he's able to explore more and it also wears him out and so it gives him better naps. He loves to chase Dusty around, which is our little vacuum thing with it. And he, he just loves that thing. But other than that, we haven't found other toys that he's absolutely in love with. And so if you guys have any suggestions of toys that you find your little ones love or that you feel is really good at stimulating a child's brain, then please leave it in the comment section below because I would be very interested in checking those out. Um, another thing, we've always been reading to Wyatt ever since he was young, but I think only recently was when he started actually engaging in the books that we've read. Along comes an octopus with eight great arms, covered on the underside with tiny sucker charms. Hey, Mr. Fish. So some of the books that he really enjoys is uh, Pout Pout Fish. We actually call him Pout Pout Fish sometimes just because he does this pout. Um, and it's just a fun little book. Another book he really loves is Barnyard Dance. We actually got it from one of our friends and he always laughs when Stan like does this little dance with the Barnyard Dance book. And then the last one we try to read to him before bedtime or before nap times. It doesn't happen every time just because we're tired and he's tired and he'll just be really fussy. But most of the time um, we'll try to read him that book and it's called Good Night Train. But yeah. So that's all I have for this video. I'm going to end it right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you're interested about anything I talked about, I'll leave links to everything in the description box down below. Um, and please let me know if you guys know of any other toys. Oh, also, since he started eating solid foods now, if you guys know any good baby food recipes or different food fruits or food combinations, also please let me know in the comment section. I would love to try those out as well. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Hey. <laughs> oh my goodness. You just keep going in circles. No, this is not for you. Can you say hi? One more time. You want mommy to chase you? Oh, mommy's gonna get you. Mommy's gonna <laughs> get you. <laughs> Oh, I know. I know.